Hey, welcome back. Last time, we showed how wavelength division multiplexing can expand the capacity of your network more cost-effectively than adding additional fiber. Now you're interested in learning more about this technology, but you're faced with two similar acronyms, CWDM and DWDM. What's the difference and how do you choose between them? It all depends on how many links you need or will need and how far you need to go. Let's start with CWDM. CWDM stands for Coarse Wavelength Division Multiplexing. The full CWDM spectrum stretches from 1270 to 1610 nanometers with a new channel every 20 nanometers. However, due to physical characteristics of fiber optic cables, the lower CWDM range can be limited in some applications. Therefore, you're often better off using the eight channels between 1470 to 1610 nanometers. When should you think about using CWDM? CWDM is generally less expensive than DWDM. So if eight new links is enough for you, it can make a lot of sense. CWDM is also effective over shorter distances, about 40 or 50 kilometers. Now let's talk about DWDM. DWDM stands for Dense Wavelength Division Multiplexing. As its full name suggests, DWDM offers more channels than CWDM, a lot more. Even though the DWDM spectrum is only a couple dozen nanometers wide, it can squeeze in well over 40 channels. So when should you consider DWDM? The advantage to DWDM is it can give you a lot of room to grow. Even if you're only going to light, say, four channels today, your MUX DMUX could hold an additional four, 12, 36, or more channels for future capacity. And at the rate your network is growing, you'll be lighting those channels sooner than you think. DWDM is also more effective over longer distances, sometimes up to hundreds of kilometers with amplification and dispersion compensation. While these are good rules of thumb, the decision between CWDM and DWDM involves several factors and requires a thorough understanding of your network environment. Our experts are here to help you every step of the way to add bandwidth and solve your fiber scarcity issues in the best way possible.